Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. And guys, we're going to go into this snake room and we're going to look at a lot of clutches that were laid over the last day or so. As a matter of fact, I'll probably only show you half of them and show you the other half tomorrow. That's how many we have. This beautiful lavender het pie girl is, and you can see she's not that big. She gave us a nice clutch of five eggs. We're going to see that probably tomorrow. But I'll tell you this, um, we ID'd a clutch that drove Pablo and I so crazy because when you have a lot of genes interacting with each other, it's very hard to tell sometimes what exactly you're looking at. So we tried our best. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna ask you guys for help at IDing a couple of these babies. So if you can put your thoughts in the comments below, we greatly appreciate it because I could use all the help I can get. You know, I'm not one of these guys that's afraid to ask for help. I love when you guys act like Sherlock Holmes and try to figure out what genes are and what snakes. So let's go into the snake room. Let's see what clutches are on the ground. And let's take a look at a couple of cool babies. Dave Palumbo here, and I am very happy today because we got uh, two clutches we're gonna pull here. Starting with one that's really interesting. This is a leopard orange dream entry pie, um, which in and of itself doesn't sound so amazing. And it's also he possible head hypo. However, it was bred to a leopard, banana, and she orange dream yellow belly pie that's also possible head hypo so we can produce some pretty amazing things with this uh with this clutch everything's going to be pied obviously we didn't know if this girl was going to go or not she did and she's kind of on the smaller side let's see take a look at what eggs she's got here oh, she's nice and hollowed out you can see look at that she got all her eggs out of her they're small eggs these are you know we showed some really long eggs yesterday these are really tiny kind of eggs but we're gonna candle them. There's one little slugger here. And two, four, six, seven eggs. Hey, that's gonna be great odds. We're gonna get seven pies, and you know what? We can produce possible orange, super orange dream stuff, super enchi. We can produce leopard with all those combinations. And I mean, we can produce some crazy stuff with this girl. So I, I produced this girl a number of years ago. She did real good. What year is she? She was a 19, so she's, she's almost three years old, or four years. Yeah, three, almost three years old. So she's a really young female. She always was a good eater. And when they're good eaters, a lot of times you can get them to breed young. Usually it'll take, you know, three and a half years to get these guys up. She did it in, in under that. So we're gonna clean her up. We're gonna put her in a new tub and we're gonna check out those eggs to see what's going on inside. Vessels, embryos, etc. I wanted to bring this girl outside because I wanted to show you this girl. You know, one of the great things about Enchi Pides is that they're very, very low white. See how there's a lot of pattern here? You can see the all the different you know pattern here with only just a little bit of white. And what's good about that is you don't lose pattern, especially with leopard. If you put leopard into pie without enchi, you basically get a white snake. So um, that's not great. So the enchi is gonna be really good. We could produce super enchi stuff, which is gonna also keep more pattern in here. So I'm interested to see what these eggs are gonna produce, given the fact that both parents are leopard. That little girl did very good. She gave us seven perfect eggs. They're little eggs, very small. Look how small they are. But they all have embryos and vessels in them, so I'm super psyched. This is gonna be a really nice pie clutch. Um, we're doing, so far this year, we've done good. We had a really great pie clutch about two weeks ago, and hopefully this one will be just as epic. Stay tuned. All right, I'm holding a Monarch ball python here, which is a form of a caramel albino or T-positive. Um, I think it's one of the, the most amazing looking T-positive lines. And I'm an Ultramel guy, I got a lot of Ultramel stuff, but the Monarchs, especially when they're born, they're really purple looking. And this male, who I had bred with a super pastel sugar um, head Monarch female, three years in a row and got nothing because they didn't like each other. I bred him to a hurricane spider a few years ago, or two years ago, less than two years ago now. And we produced some babies that we grew up. And like I tell everyone, spiders are amazing eaters. And we got a female, we bred him back to his daughter. Here's the female right there, look at that. That is a spider hurricane het monarch that's sitting on eggs. 50% of these babies should be monarchs. I am praying for a hurricane monarch, that's the goal. I always said to myself, I think hurricane and monarch would look good together because hurricane is dark. You get that purple from that. Plus you get the purple in the monarch. Who knows? And who knows what spider might do to it either. Spider, uh, hurricane monarchs might look really cool too. So that's the goal. I'm I'm really, really happy. This little girl, look at this little tiny girl, produced this nice clutch of eggs. 
Just goes to show you, once again, everyone, don't discount your spiders. They are freaking great eaters and grape readers. Let's pull this clutch and see what we got. All right, we got her nice and cleaned up and she's hopefully, you know, normally I would say hopefully she's gonna start eating again, but I gotta tell you a funny story. Pablo didn't know that she had laid eggs um, this morning. He didn't see them because she was under the high box and he was feeding today and he threw, a rat, he threw a small rat in there and she actually ate it. And when she came out and grabbed it, that's when he saw the clutch of eggs that she was sitting on. So this girl actually ate while on a clutch of eggs. That might be an all time record for, for ball pythons. Usually, you know, you gotta clean them up. You wanna wash them, get the scent of the egg off. She did not care. She was a hungry little girl. Once again, spiders are good eaters. Good girl. Seven great eggs again. That's two clutches, seven great eggs, from a, both from little girls. This girl was under two years old. She was a year and a half. She gave us seven great eggs, all veins and arteries and um, embryos in there. So these, this looks like it could be a good clutch. Let's keep our fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. I can't wait to see these hatch, man. This is a, a really, really exciting clutch for me. Um, to, the possibility of making hurricane monarchs is just, is would it wouldn't make up for my pied boa disaster this year, but it definitely would put a smile on my face. All right, we're gonna ID a clutch so we can write the tags for it. We should have done this a week or two ago, but we didn't. This is a, um, a breeding of a pastel leopard spot nose heck clown to a pastel heck clown. Um, this is looking, Pablo and I are pretty convinced this is a uh, leopard super pastel clown. And what is this, a boy? Can we sex that's this? a girl. That's a girl. That's a nice, that's a nice uh, potential future breeder right there. Beautiful colors. Really, really. She looks like she must have just shed. Look at that. All that blushing from the super pastel here on the top border. I like pastel and clown. I don't know about you. I know you don't like too much pastel and clown, but I, I, I really think that pastel, super pastel, gives the clown a lot more pop. Uh, it does erase the head a little bit, but I think the body looks amazing. All right, now, upon Initial impression, they both look very, very similar, these snakes. Um, they're both not clowns, they're both head clowns. However, there's a difference. This one is a super pastel head clown, and this one is a super pastel spot nose head clown. Can you tell the difference? The difference is this bony white stripey thing going down the back here. Um, although they both kind of have it. Um, I've shown it to a few people, right? Do we agree, Pablo, this one's the spot nose? Yeah, that's this one. They do look a lot alike, though. Yeah. I think this this little pattern here is, is a giveaway. Yeah. I mean, when we look at these, that dorsal stripe, it looks lighter, a lot lighter, you see? Yeah. And this one, even though it had some light... It doesn't really have a dorsal light. stripe yeah. at all. And you know what the funny thing is? They're definitely both super pastel. You can see how washed out they are. And, and I, they're really nice looking, you know, for, and these are two females too, so they'll probably become available. So if anyone's interested, let me know. Uh, really two nice head clown females here. All right, this one is uh, pretty easy to spot. This is a pastel head clown. Now, it doesn't look exactly like, like a, a normal pastel would. Head clown, for a lot of people don't realize, is it definitely does change pattern and sometimes color a little bit. So don't think that just because it's a recessive that you're not going to get some differences in the snake. This does not look like a typical pastel, but it looks a little different. Uh, but this is the pastel head clown. And as beautiful as this little girl is, that is just a regular clown. A really nice clown, I have to say. You know, some clowns are nicer than others. I like that nice thick dorsal stripe. It looks really red, too. And she is, uh, she almost looks orange dream clown, but we know there's no orange dream in this, in this breeding. So anyone looking to get into the clown project, it's always good to have some visual clowns in your breeding project so that you can pump some really good males with a lot of genes into them and make some really cool stuff. And last but not least, our only male of the whole clutch, which is amazing because usually I'm always male heavy is a leopard spot nose head clown really great boy if you're looking to get into the leopard spot nose you know batman project clown project 
this boy can get you in there at a much cheaper price than if you actually got a visual leopard spinos clown. But there's some really cool stuff going on. Look at this little, like, it looks like a wrench almost on this pack. Leopard really gives you some really nice dark striping, and, and spot nose definitely breaks it all up. This is um, a classic leopard spot nose head clown right here. Check them out. All right, now this is a different clutch. I wanted to just show this to you because this was from a banana enchi yellow belly leopard orange dream pied that was bred to an orange dream enchi head pied. And, you know, sometimes you have trouble IDing things. And I, I thought this is an interesting experiment here. And I want to get your opinion, you know. First of all, I see a pinched off head. You see the, the pattern is pinched off. You have this like isolated little island there. And that usually indicates to me super enchi. It also, it's, you got a very clean, looking snake. Um, you also have a, a very low white pied. I'm pretty sure this is pied. Now, sometimes you, just looking from the top, you might say this is not pied, but when you start lifting up this snake, you see how that white creeps up. That looks, that's that's all pied to me. I mean, I think, and we all know also, or maybe we don't all know, but Enchi and Super Enchi will really make low white pieds. And I would assume because Enchi makes a low white pie, Super Enchi would make a super, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, low white pie. So when I look at this, I see a lot of orange here. So I have to think this is at least Orange Dream. It could potentially be Super Orange Dream, but I'm gonna call it Orange Dream Super Enchi Pied. And the reason I'm calling it Pied is because this white here. This, this is more than a ringer. This is definitely, um, to me, a visual pied. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below if you think that I'm right with this. Um, I don't think this is leopard. It does look a little leopardy to me, but I think, you know, Pablo and I think it could just be the super enchi doing that. Look at look at the pattern bleeding into the into the belly like that. That's really, really kind of cool. So sometimes you get a really cool looking snake. And this is a female, right? Yeah. Beautiful. I, I think it, it could possibly be leopard here. I don't know. But possible yellow belly too. Could could be yellow belly too, yeah. But look at that blushing down there. Maybe that's what's causing that little blushing. Let me know what you guys think. I know there's gonna be a, a bunch of you guys that are gonna probably nail it right on the head. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Hope you enjoyed today's videos. Hopefully you got some good ideas on what some of those snakes that we were kind of confused about might actually be. I love feedback, so give us the feedback. And if you like what you're seeing, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button. I promise I'll see you back tomorrow morning.